Hello children, today we are going to learn the concept of lines and angles. So, let's start with some basic understanding of lines. Line is a straight path extending in both directions. Line segment is a part of line included between two endpoints. Ray is a part of line with one endpoint. Now that we've explored the basics of lines, line segments, and rays, let's dive deeper into how these concepts help us understand something called angles. Ready to find out what angles are? Let's go! Angle is the space between two intersecting straight lines at the point in which they meet. The point where they meet is called the vertex. Angles are measured in degrees. With our newfound knowledge of what angles are and how we identify them, it's time to classify these angles into different types. Each type has its own unique properties and names. Let's see what these are. Types of angles are linear pair of angles, corresponding angles, alternate angles, co-interior angles, and vertically opposite angles. What makes corresponding angles special? Let's find out. The highlighted angles are one of the pairs of corresponding angles and are equal. Next, let's shift our focus to another fascinating angle relationship called alternate angles. How do these angles interact with each other when lines are parallel? All the same color angles are pairs of alternate angles and are always equal if the lines are parallel. Lastly, not all angle relationships are about equality. Some involve addition. This brings us to non-alternate angles, also known as co-interior angles. Let's explore how these angles work together to maintain balance. The sum of these angles is 180 degrees. Or, we can say that co-interior angles are supplementary. After learning about the different types of angles, Let's explore an interesting scenario when two lines never meet, no matter how long they extend. This happens when lines are parallel. But how can we be sure lines are truly parallel? There are certain conditions that help us determine this. Lines, L and M are parallel, if any of the following is true. Pairs of alternate angles are equal. That is, angle D is equal to angle F. Angle B is equal to angle H. Pairs of corresponding angles are equal. That is, angle A is equal to angle E. Angle G is equal to angle C. The sum of the interior or exterior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. That is, angle D plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures, and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on Eduref to ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi, and much more for class 7. Thank you.